the, the water park right, because so you I pour on site. Okay, yeah. So I paint on site. Um, and the watercolors are uh, mm -hmm. because I'm when I travel I'm I'm moving quickly. And mm -hmm. so I also take a lot of photographs because mm -hmm. I can only paint so many when I'm there, right? Mm -hmm. And so I do paint some watercolors from the digital images that I've taken, mm -hmm. and those I can do because they're just watercolors, so I can just easily do them at my home. Mm -hmm. um, but I definitely which doesn't require too much of production, right? Just, yeah. But I definitely prefer doing all of my work on site if possible. Um, is this your work? Is, your mom is your work oil, or oils? Or? Well, so I have, I do. So the oil, watercolor. Mm -hmm. that's good. But anyway, and so the oils. Mm -hmm. And the way I have my website mm -hmm. uh, organized is I have it organized from the most recent paintings, mm -hmm. and then you know as you go down. Okay. But anyway, and so yeah, so I'm out painting in all the seasons. Okay. Um, in fact, a lot of people are kind of amazed that I'm painting in the winter. Yeah. That, that must be so difficult. But actually, mm -hmm. I find that the hardest time to paint is the summer. Mm -hmm. Because um, in the winter, if you there, generally there are only a few really bad days in January sure. or really cold days, but generally, sure. you know, in the winter when I'm up in the mountains, first mm -hmm. of all, I'm above the inversion, so mm -hmm. often it's warmer up there. Sure. And then if the sun's out and I bundle up, mm -hmm. and if the sun's out, it's really beautiful and yeah. somewhat pleasant. Yeah. Um, but in the in the summertime, of course. Once you know what, what do you do about the heat? You can't. Yeah, you can't really. Control you can't really that control that. And then, and I go um, up into uh, oftentimes Mill Creek Canyon mm -hmm. in the summer because mm -hmm. it's much cooler up there. But the problem is the flies. Mm -hmm. The flies get really bad. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah. As I said, it's kind of funny because a lot of people think that the winter is the hardest, and mm -hmm. in fact, it's the summertime. So interesting. Um, but anyway, but yeah, I. Um, I'm gonna look at your. Yeah, and oh, and then let me just here. I wanted to show you the yeah. watercolors that. Okay. So, um, but anyway, yeah. But I, I tend to, I prefer painting on site because really what it is is, um, mm -hmm. I don't know why this isn't loading, but um. And the bottoms, your th those are those are sketches, just sketches drawings. that I've okay. done. Yeah, okay. there aren't very many there, but uh -huh. uh, I need to load more. Okay. But. Um, um, but anyway, the, so both with both the, mm -hmm. the connection between the oils and the watercolors is, mm -hmm. I, like I said, I, Hi, Amy. I do prefer to be on site because, you know, when you are, when I, or at least for me, and I think probably this would be the case for a lot of people, when I'm mm -hmm. out in nature and it's gorgeous mm -hmm. and you just have this feeling and, and it's just this, oh, I, I want to do something with this. I want, mm -hmm. you know, this energy, this excitement mm -hmm. but then I feel the same when I as I travel mm -hmm. it's it's so it's exciting and I'm energized mm -hmm. and I want to do mm -hmm. something with it and so uh, so the the paintings are a way for me to first of all um, release that mm -hmm. um, that energy that feeling mm -hmm. but then but it's also, I also really enjoy sharing my experience. Mm -hmm. So it's that kind of a thing where um, I enjoy being alone, but at the mm -hmm. same time, it's nice to share it with people, sure, right? Sure, sure. And so whether I'm up in the mountains and it's gorgeous or I'm traveling, I want mm -hmm. to share those experiences. Mm -hmm. And with my watercolors, mm -hmm. I've started, um, and this will be the case with this show coming up, uh, I always keep a journal, a written journal as mm -hmm. well. And so I've started um, uh, incorporating kind of written excerpts from my journal sure. next to the pieces, sure. the paintings. And mm -hmm. so that there's that much more, you know, a lot of times there's like a, a bit of history about the place, but mm -hmm. also just, just more um, insight, especially because mm -hmm. as I travel, uh, I mean, these, these three are in Budapest, but, okay. you know, this is Istanbul, this mm -hmm. is Georgia. Okay. And then this... The most recent travels that I did, I, I traveled through Romania, Bulgaria, uh, a quick hop through Istanbul, and then up into um, Georgia, specifically Tbilisi, mm -hmm. the capital, and then into Armenia. Mm -hmm. And um, 
It's a place that's not a lot of people use. Not a lot of people go, exactly. Go. And yeah. so that's part of it, too, that um, I, f- I enjoy bringing, um, I don't know... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how educational it is, but anyway, um, bringing these places to people who may not be able to go there or who right. have no familiarity with the place, right. and that's also why I feel like it, it, that adding the the written part of of uh, yeah. um, to the to the visual images right. helps with that because right. um, you know I I feel like one of the great things about travel is um, mm-hmm. you. I, I, in fact, I kind of wish that it could somehow be uh, kind of a, a require, and I know this would be too expensive, but somehow a requirement even in basic education, mm-hmm. like say high school or college, mm-hmm. because I feel like when we travel, we um, we have a better understanding of the rest of the world, not just through what we hear through the news, so basically the top headlines, but um, you know, like for instance, when I travel, I like to take trains. I like to really get past what is put on for the tourists. Sure. Really get into right. what what the the real feel of the country is. Right. What right. people are really thinking there and what their lives are. Don't stay in four five star hotels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because then, I I feel like. It's I'm really advantageous because then you really know what the rest of the world good is food going through. And well, good, yeah, and it's yeah, just, it's, find the authentic dining. Yeah, like, and yeah, and so that's also you know I most of my watercolors are mm-hmm. more kind of uh, I I do the occasional. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're going, you're going, you're going for authenticity here. You're not you're not trying to find something you'd you'd see in in a travel magazine, but something right. you'd see that you'd see. Right. This is this is this is you're trying to you're trying to. Get a sense of what right. you'd see uh, that and, and someone who's living there might see. Right, exactly. So, so, someone who's, in, who's, exactly. A, who's a resident of wherever. Right, and might, I mean, like this piece, this was um, in Georgia, and these mm-hmm. are these are actually from my travels last year. So I will mm-hmm. have, um, mm-hmm. and I can show you some of the images from my new, my latest. Mm-hmm. And by the way, I can email you images of my new pieces. Mm-hmm. So okay. that would probably be healthy. Or, yeah, that'll that that that'll that'll be. Um, the pieces that I'll actually have I'll want show. I want I want these for my reference okay. that, that like for for the for the for the, for the article I, right. for, for fifteen the, bytes that right. would be the ph- photographic the photography team mm-hmm. that'll go on that right and for the that'll, that that that'll, that'll that'll come later right so, but anyway so like for, uh, for pictures instance, of you this, and yeah, the work yeah, that, sure. that comes later but um. um yeah, so... But yeah, so I mean, like, you know... So I'm, this, like, I'm, this, this, I'm, I'm seeing that authenticity yeah, is this, a big uh, factor. Yeah, guy just walking home, right. and it's just... Right, right. And I think, I, I also think mm. that there's... I'm really there's, drawn... There's, there's a certain beauty in that. There's yeah. John Ruskin. Yeah. Who, 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 um, who saw be- beauty in, 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 in like, a, a, a cathedral was beautiful because right. it, it, it had fa- factors about it that showed its... It's, it's it's handmade mm-hmm. qualities. Mm-hmm. Like right. you, you could see that it wasn't right. manufactured. He, he, right. he, he saw the modern. He, he was looking at the industrial age, the, the post-industrial age, looking right. at the handmade qualities, and everything right. was perfect. But he looks back to like the pre, the, pre, the, the Gothic yeah. era where everything was handmade. was handmade yeah. and thought that was beautiful. Yeah. Well, for me, I'm I'm really actually drawn to like for instance, this is Tbilisi, mm-hmm. the capital of Georgia, and uh-huh. in. Um, a lot of the old city is falling down. I mean, uh-huh. so so my the travels that I just did this past year, like I said, going to Romania, Bulgaria, uh-huh. and then Georgia and Armenia. So we're talking the Balkans and then the Caucasus. But uh-huh. a, a unifying kind of factor between the two is, you know, these are countries or areas uh-huh. of the world that were under communism for a long time. Right, right, right. And granted, also with 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 all of those countries or those those four countries, um, not only communism but they um, they have strong um, senses of themselves. I mean, you know, their own character, their own cultures, their own history. Right. But you know, you look past over the centuries, mm-hmm. and they have been, um, you know, first they were kind of invaded by the, you know, and controlled by the Byzantine Empire, mm-hmm. and then it was the Ottoman Empire, mm-hmm. and then it was the Russian Empire, or mm-hmm. you know, communism. Um, but they. 
they all have um, their own pride in who they really are. They have to hold on. Right, yeah. but they've but they have they're constantly being um, yeah. um, controlled or you know uh, dominated by mm-hmm. these uh, these exterior external um, mm-hmm. larger empires. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, and so right now it was really interesting because. As I said, uh, the most recent thing is coming out of communism. And granted, mm-hmm. it's been, what, since the early 90s. But even still, they're, they're, all those countries are still very agrarian and um, trying to you know, get their economies going and, and really get their governments uh, working properly and all this stuff. So they're, and, um, and so, like, for instance, in Tbilisi... Um, a lot of the uh, infrastructure, a lot of the buildings under communism were just not kept, upkept, and so they're falling mm-hmm. apart. Mm-hmm. And so there have been a lot of buildings that have been torn down mm-hmm. and new buildings have been built. But um, I have to say that walking around, I was really drawn to the older sections, mm-hmm. to the places, I, they, it was so beautiful, mm-hmm. these places that were, they were falling down, but it was, mm-hmm. and I think it's because I could there was a history there, mm-hmm. right? There's you can a, there's see a the history. struggle. You yeah. Can see that. You yeah. You can see that those those those, those generations of holding on, those generations of of, of from those are generations of, of struggle to, of hold, holding on to who they are. Exactly. So, exactly. And yeah. so, um, and so yeah. So so when I when I travel, that's what that's mm-hmm. what really intrigues me. That's what really excites me to. To and I, I also love history. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. I was I gonna say, what, what is it about and, you that? Right. Yeah. yeah and yeah. so I think that's part of it. Yeah. And I yeah. and I really want mm-hmm. to, as I said, get beyond. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, the common phrase is um, history is written by the victors, mm-hmm. right? Whoever mm-hmm. won the war, kind of. That's right. And um, so even just reading history, I really mm-hmm. want to get, beyond if possible, that. down to you know what, what the. Well, I was going to say what the truth is, but I guess that's always subjective. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. And so that's so that's what really excites me is I travel. Um, and again, I can show you more of, of, of those pieces. But um, and, and, I, and, 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 and I don't think it's always the case. But truth is, is, always, is not always subjective. I wouldn't say. But not all. I mean, it's it's hard though because sometimes it's, um, truth is beyond our, ourselves, and, yeah. and this is something that. Is, is something greater than ourselves. Yeah. I think. I think that. I think that's what's. I think that's what. What, what the beauty of truth is. Yeah. It's something gr- greater than who we are. Yeah. And something beyond who we are that we have to. That yeah. we have to rise to something that we have to act yeah. on it too. But it's but, interesting because, like, for instance, when I was in Bulgaria, um, mm-hmm. I did. Um, I was in. Um, Veliki or. Yeah, Veliki Tornovo, which is, uh, so the capital of Bulgaria is now Sofia. Okay. But Veliki Tornovo was um, was kind of like the old capital, okay. and so it has a lot of historic historical significance. Anyway, so I was in I I went on a walking tour there, okay. and like for instance, um, because especially Bulgaria mm-hmm. was right at the I mean it, it neighbors um, Turkey, right? Okay. And so the Ottomans mm-hmm. really. Um, Subjugated and um, really did some atrocious things to the Bulgarians. Mm-hmm. I mean, they were just you know they were right. there. They were the most right. So and you know coming into the Balkans, Bulgaria was kind of like the first stop. But mm-hmm. anyway, um, and uh, anyway, so on this walking tour, um, there was.